did we get here? Uh -huh. We ain't supposed to be here. Sometimes as believers, we find ourselves in places and we wonder, how did I get here? What did I do to find myself in the place that I'm at? And, and we wonder, you know, we question God, why did you let this happen? Why didn't you change this thing? Why didn't you allow it to work out differently? But I've come to tell you tonight, I'm already ready, let's go, that the book of Romans, I believe around the 8th chapter, reminds us in the 28th verse, and we know that all things work together for the good of them.
Genesis talks about. Lord, I'm fat. Can't move like a woman. You the best I can. Genesis talks about Joseph. Have, I gave God some points. Don't let nobody kill your dream. Don't let nobody take away the vision God has given you. He had to go through a process. The process he had to go through was not to break him, but to make him. That can be point number three. What you're dealing with was not to break you, but to make you. Let me tell you what the Lord told me one day. I said, why I have to go through that? Why I have to experience this? Why did this happen in my life? And the Lord spoke to me and said, if you didn't know me like you do now, and you trusted me then, and I did for you then what I did, brought you out then like I did, delivered you then like I did, now that you know me like you do.
Wondering why?